Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Bridget. In today's video, I don't have an eyebrow. I shaved it off. Long story short. No, it's really a short story. I shaved it off because I was bored and I wanted to do it because I'm, I'm stupid. But in today's video, I'm doing a reaction video, which I haven't done any of these yet so far on my channel. So I'm going to be reacting to two sentence horror stories. And if you haven't already, these, uh, I think there's a couple of them on YouTube. It's one by Q Ute. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But I watched it. I really liked it. And I found pretty much some of the same ones that she used in her video. And I'm going to react to them because when I watched that video, I like freaked out. So you guys can actually see my reaction. And I'm going to be putting them on the screen here so you can read it with me. And all the time that I lived... I've lived alone in this house. I swear to God, I've closed more doors than I've opened. Okay, this one um, doesn't really scare me. I guess he's just saying that he's closed more doors than he's opened. It doesn't really say like somebody's been opening them. If you like hear that, um, which I cannot, um, put it in the comments below. A girl heard her mom yell her name from the bottom of the stairs. She, so she got up and started heading downstairs. As she got to the stairs, her mom pulled her into her room and said, I heard that too. That one is a little bit creepy, like, um, this one, there's kind of like different things. Could it just be someone that wants to kidnap the girl, or is it a ghost, like, you know, trying to imitate her mother? So I can kill her, or if it's a person, kidnap her or kill her. Okay, this next one's a little bit spooky. I woke up to hear knocking on glass. At first I thought it was coming from the window till I heard it come from the mirror again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that one is a little bit creepy. Like, is it a ghost? Like, from the inside of the mirror, like, not get it, saying, like, I'm watching you or something like that. It's kind of creepy. So, uh, <laughs> that one does scare me a little bit. Um, the next one's actually probably one of the scariest ones that, um, Scary. The last thing I saw was my alarm clock flashing 12.07 a.m. before she pushed her long, rotting nails through my chest, her other hand muffling my screams. I sat bolt upright, relieved it was just a dream, but as I saw my as I saw my alarm clock read 12.06, I heard my closet door creak open. Oh my gosh, I'm really like, tearing up right now. Like, that one literally scares me so bad. Because I kind of have, like, a little bit of a big closet over there. And, oh my gosh, I mean, even though I know there's nothing in it, and it doesn't really scare me that bad. Um, and also, I'm in here with my brother. He's just sleeping right now. Um, it's, like, super creepy. Just think about that ugly girl. You just see a nightmare. Like, maybe he was seeing the future in his dream. Then he wakes up to it's going creak up. It's a minute before she pushes her nails through the chest. So that means she's coming right now. Like she's coming up to the bed. As it says it's creaky open. It's a minute before she actually pushes it through. So it's like really scary. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for her. like so scared. And some of these are actually sent in by people. So they're like true, like what they saw or something. They could just be made up or something by them. But um yeah. Okay. Growing up with cats and dogs, I got used to scratching on doors. Now that I live alone, it's more unsettling. Oh my gosh. Now, um, like, in Cutie's video, she said, like, now she's just, like, imagining, like, someone sitting at the bottom of her door scratching with their long nails. Like, now that I think of it, I'm thinking of, like, Left for Dead, The Crying Witch. If you've ever played that game, there's, like, the crying witch, and like if you find her, she'll chase after you. If you shine your light on her, I'm just thinking of her sitting there scratching the doors, like crying or something. I don't know why. It's like that one is like so scared. Raises hairs on my neck and gives me goosebumps because that one is honestly really scary. And I'm sorry if this gives you nightmares. Bless your dreams. And I'm sorry if my eyebrow is gonna give you nightmares. Bless your dreams once again, even more. I found a picture of me sleeping on my phone. I live alone. Oh my gosh. Like, there literally is goosebumps on my arm. Like, those are goosebumps, guys. Like, I'm really scared. Like, that's so scary. Like, are you thinking, like, is there a ghost in his house that took a picture of him? Or is, like, there's a stalker that lives in his attic that's taking a picture of him in his sleep? Like, who knows what it could be? Like, that's so scary. So that's all I have for this video. I'm probably going to do a part two because there's a lot more. If you guys enjoyed this video, social media be right here. Like it. Subscribe. Bye.